Hello everyone, this is Beverly Black. And how is everyone doing today? I pray everyone is blessed and highly favored. Today we're going to make a soup. Yes, it is soup day and it feels like soup. It's a vegetable soup and we're gonna have beef stew in it for the meat. So stay tuned so you can learn how to make this good soup. Okay, we're starting out with our uh, beef stew in the Dutch oven and we're getting ready to sear it. And I have a half a stick of unsalted butter in here to sear the um, beef stew in with. You can use hamburger, you can use chicken, you can use lamb, you can use whatever meat you may want to put into this um, soup. And I'm also, I have one onion diced up, uh, I think it's six carrots, six potatoes um, cut up, two, one stick of celery, one onion, We'll be using green beans, uh, peas, corn, tomatoes, tomato crush, crushed tomatoes, and tomato paste, and the seasoning. It's really not hard. The part that is hard is the um, the part of cutting up. Excuse me. Turn this up. Cutting up the meats to go, cutting up the vegetables to go in this um, soup for today. For those who are here for the first time, I keep forgetting to ask to say this in my video, so I'm saying it today. For those who you who are here for the first time and you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and watch the video in full if you can from start to finish then hit that like button and leave a comment down below so that i know that you have been here and you have watched it and what you think about it now with this soup you can add any vegetables you want to in any sequence that you want to it's no certain thing but the main thing is it all come together and it tastes good, okay? Okay, so we got this beef stew. Or you know what? You could use uh, a chuck roast. You could cook a chuck roast, you could cook it in the microwave, not the microwave, or you could. But I'm talking about the crock pot for about three hours, then cut it up. It's just so many different vari variations can't talk today of ways you can do uh, your meat and you don't have to put any meat if you just want um, just vegetables in your soup no meat go for it vegetable soup that's all you need to do that is it okay we're gonna let this continue to cook just a little while longer and then i'm going to add and i'm gonna leave the juices in there because that'll be part of the stock and then i'm going to put in the onions and the celery together and pour it in here okay This. I have an onion and one celery stalk. And if you don't like celery, you don't have to put celery in there. It's just what you like. Okay. Got this mixed in. And you know, we all got our own way of making making our soups and how we're going to do it. Because the next time I make soup, I could make it a completely different way. It's just whatever I feel like at the moment. Okay. 
We're going to let that cook on down just a little while longer. Oh, I wish you could smell it, pal. It smells so good. And I'm also going to be adding a few of these, this pasta in. You could put macaroni or anything that you want to put in it. And you don't have to put any in there. You don't have to put any, any uh, pasta in there at all. So you do what you want to do. Now these six carrots. And you don't have to peel the carrots. You can just cut them up with that little skin on there. That's more nutrition. That's all that is. And I'm going to make a big pan of cornbread to go with this. And we are going to be set. Or you can eat crackers, whatever you feel like you want to eat with it. If you got fresh garlic, now's the time to put your garlic in. to put a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce in it. That word that is hard to say. About a teaspoon. Okay. potatoes and this was six potatoes cut up this is gonna make a nice pot of soup Pour in some um, beef broth. Maybe about a cup or a cup and a half. I wanted to use all frozen vegetables in, in this because it's lower in sodium. I didn't have any frozen corn. So what you do with that corn is just wash it off. But I'm using the white shoe pig corn. I like the frozen um, shoe pig corn the best. that are frozen that I'm going to add. My frozen peas. Stir this up. Now we're going to put in the can of crushed tomatoes.
for those who don't like the big pieces of tomatoes to taste. And here is some tomato paste, cause I like for mine to be real red looking. And we'll see how this is doing. And for the flavor. We're going to put in about four bay leaves, and when it's over with, remember to take the bay leaves out when it's cooked, rather. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning on. some black pepper and a little regular salt Once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna put the rest of this tomato paste in here. Tomato sauce, rather. Going to let this sim I mean cook low not low medium medium for about 45 minutes to an hour or until that uh, meat starts to tender up real good and you'll get a little thickening in your um, soup from the potatoes so I'll be back when it's all done I did not add some of the noodles to it, so I'm going to put about half of the box of noodles in here. And now we are ready to turn it down and let it cook on medium. The soup is done, ready to get a big bowl of this goodness and sit down and enjoy myself. Everyone have a blessed day. If you have the time, make you a pot of soup today. Vegetable and beef soup with a pan of cornbread over there on the side. You can't beat it. Everyone be blessed. And remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Why? because you are his masterpiece. Be blessed, everyone.